Aww, oh, yeah, Rivers here with some cool tech. And we're just going to revisit the TronSmart Prometheus real quickly because we've got a cool software update for it. We've got Android Jelly Bean 4.2.1 on here. So developers have been hard at work. They fixed a few bugs that people were really wanting fixed. And I just want to quickly show you this. So anyways, here's what you'll see when you first load up after flashing the new ROM. As you can see, the layout is just a little bit different now. It's got the app drawer down in the bottom instead of the top right hand corner. The image quality and snappiness of the player is still working really well with this update, so I definitely uh, would think about looking into it. And it's got one main feature that I think might make it worth the upgrade, and that is that XBMC is now working really well. Even over the network, it can play 1080p MKV uh, without slowing down, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Here are the apps that come installed with this new ROM, except for XBMC, but it is included. It's just on the SD card where you got the ROM flash file, so you just need to go in with a file browser like Apollo and install it from there. Also, if you got all the same widgets and live wallpapers as you did on previous versions of Jellybean. So next I went ahead and installed all my favorite apps on there again. I used Ultimate Backup Pro, so it just automatically puts them all back on. And you got the live wallpaper. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new features. First, the apps close out horizontally now instead of vertically, and it seems to be easier to close them as well. Next, let's take a look at the CPU info. So it's got the AM Logic 8726 uh, CPU. It's dual core A9 processor. Here's all your information, neon processor and everything. Next up, let's run another uh, Linpack benchmark on here just to see how the CPU is doing with this new uh, software. And it seems to be running just slightly slower, but still pretty good. Now let's take a look in the settings menu. And there's a few changes in here. So let's go ahead and take a look. First up, Wi-Fi is running uh, nice and stable just like before. Bluetooth is not working in this build, and your Ethernet is working. You need to usually toggle it off and toggle it back on to get a connection though. Now I notice something interesting in the display settings here. You notice it says wireless display, so hopefully in the future there will be some software where you can maybe stream from your phone to this device. I'm not sure, I think it might just be part of Jelly Bean 4.21, but never know there could be some good potential now this is a big improvement right here all your memory is in one drive basically or at least it shows up that way so you don't run out of room at the 450 megabytes of apps anymore that's a huge improvement right there and it's uh, well worth it so with this ROM I that that was probably one of the best things that they did and here's your info so there's Android 4.2.1 kernel version and build number and probably the best thing about this new ROM is that XPMC appears to be fully working. Uh, I streamed movies over Wi-Fi and over my Ethernet, and uh, full 1080p MKV movies played fine, movies and my home videos. So I'll show one here to you. I know for a fact this one doesn't play over the network with the MX player build, but nice and smooth on here. So my hat's off to the Prometheus software developers. They listened to what people wanted and they uh, fixed XBMC and also put Android 4.2.1 on here. So nice work, guys. Also, this ROM is fully rooted, so apps that require root access can run on here. I recommend installing SuperUser. Just type in SU in the App Store. That way, any apps that require root access will check with you before they use the root access. Also, I probably would not recommend running that live wallpaper too much if you're going to be using this a lot for, like, say, playing tons of videos. I did have it lock up on me once. Other than that, it's been running pretty well though. I'll put a link to the Prometheus and also where you can get the software update down in the video description down below. If you like seeing Android 4.2 running on an amp, give this video a thumbs up and let's send the developers a message that we like seeing these updates. Alright guys, be sure and subscribe to my channel so you can see my newest videos as soon as they come out. And uh, like me over on Facebook, I do sneak previews of upcoming reviews on there and I can answer a few questions as well. Thanks again for watching and as always, aloha.